All right. Episode six. I went ahead and built this building here about 256 blocks away from the base so that I can uh, have some canola power without lagging my base. I'm going to do it mainly with XNet. So I've already laid out some of it here. I got it growing. I got some of the stuff laid out. I'm going to use some uh, RF Tools remote storage for all the seed and canola storage. So if I need more than the one farm, I can layer another one on top of it or below it or something. So I figure the first controller network here I'll have will be managing the output of the farmer here. And connecting up to the press and to the fermenting barrels and the drum to store it all in. Let's put this back real quick just in case it glitches out. And it's also stick a modular storage here. Close enough. For all of the seeds and canola. So first one I'm going to do. So I'm going to extract everything out of the farmer. And gonna dump it into the storage oops that should be extract let's see what it does I'm wondering if it's going to pull the seeds out or if it'll leave them in there. Okay, good. It leaves the seeds in there. So then we'll have another item channel. Pulling out of there. Because I'm going to extract canola from there. Then I'm going to insert it into the press. Then let's take the fluid from the press and let's insert it into the fermenting barrels. This could just be a regular connector. This is weird. White list of them. And then extract. fluid network extracting from these and inputting in inputting into the drum Cool. 
it's going up. And if I end up adding more farm layers, I can just add more here. So that's stage one. We're going from canola to canola oil to regular oil and storing the regular oil. We've got quite a bit of canola and eventually the seeds will start leaking out into here. Eventually I'll probably teach the system how to convert from canola if there's an excess. Figure we can do the crystallization and empowering of the oil in here. If we're doing that in there, let's do the crystallization and empowering of seeds in here. And then we can just have the generators in here, and then I've got this nice long tunnel leading all the way back to the base where I can run cabling. So we're going to need an area for the empower and its display stands. Might as well be symmetrical. Oh, too far. We'll just stick All right, quickly double checking some stuff. Also going to want a ranged collector. <laughs> All right, let's grab some seeds. Definitely going to need to make sure that gets more power. Alright. So it's picking up the correct stuff. So let's stick a controller in here for now. one in this episode, but I at least want to get the wiring in. Stick a modular storage. Oh, nope, that's a controller. Right, so I'm just going to say let's make a logic channel. And we're going to item sense this. We 
I'm going to say if we have less than 64 crystallized canola seed and we have more than 64 regular then we're going to say extract let's make this take two seconds or two se uh, one second two ten seconds so extract stack of regular and insert it into the open crate if both logic channels are on And we're going to say extract from the ranged collector and insert back into the thing, to the modular storage. There we go. I need to plant a solignolia over here so that I don't mess with it with my item magnet. So there's a very simplified crystallization process right there. Probably going to have this include the empowering setup. But I'll save that for another time. I also need to get better power over here because the 80 RF per tick is not adequate for the atomic reconstructor and I don't want it to only process some of them. So I got the first phase of it done. This is all nice. It's squeezing and fermenting and it's going into the drum. And then the first pass at crystallizing the seeds. So next time I'll clean this up some more and I'll get the empowering going. And then will be the actual dropping and conversion, which will happen over convert conversion, which will happen over here. And then I'll have the oil generators and a little bit of storage going on over here. So see you next time.